Okay, well, here's another word problem. And this is a pretty, I think it's a pretty good problem because it's very like realistic as far as using calculus to figure out something that one might actually do in real life, in, in business, to minimize expenses. And also it's good because it's a word problem that does not involve physics or things moving or sizes. It's all about numbers. It's an economics type word problem. So let's go through it. It's, uh, I, I put the solution on here just because I wasn't sure it would all fit and it's a little bit tedious but I'll explain the whole thing for you. Here's the problem statement, first of all. So we have a truck crossing the prairie at a speed initially of 110 kilometers per hour. Uh, the truck gets eight kilometers per hour fuel efficiency. Gas costs 68 cents per liter. The truck loses 0.1 kilometers per hour of efficiency for each kilometer per hour in speed above 110. Drivers are paid $35 per hour. Fixed costs for running the truck are $15.50 an hour. And we have a trip of 450 miles, uh, kilometers, excuse me. What speed will minimize operating expenses? So there's a lot of different things at play here. We have fuel efficiency, and we have some costs, and we have to determine, you know, we have to translate all these things into something we can work with, like cost, in order to solve the problem. So. Let's start with cost. What is cost? Well, typically people analyze cost based on two different categories. Fixed costs, which are things that are there pretty much whatever happens, and then variable costs, which are affected by some particular changing parameter. So in this case, fixed costs, you could consider the driver's wages and also the operating expenses as fixed costs of a total of 35 plus 15, so 50-50 per hour. Right, so it's, for every hour, that's, that's one cost. And then we have another cost due to fuel, which relates to the fuel efficiency. So I'm gonna say, let's let V equal the speed of the truck, and we're gonna now calculate out a cost. In order to do that, we need to make one notation in order to understand what the time is gonna be. So rate times time is distance. So the time is gonna be 450, the trip length divided by V. So now, I didn't really know where to begin with this problem because there's a lot going on and it's not obvious where to start. So I just kind of started playing around with some dimensional analysis. So I figured, well, let's start with the one fact we have, which is 450 kilometers. And now let me just go, I'm just going to multiply by other things that are known and try to have the units cancel out and see if I can get to a cost number. So this is what I came up with here. I said 450 and then our fuel efficiency starts at 8 but it goes down by 0.1 for every kilometer per hour over 110. So we have, it's, so we have liters and then kilometers in the denominator. We have eight minus 0.1 times V minus 110, right? So the V has to be above 110. And then for every increment above 110, we lose 0.1 on the efficiency. And then we had 68 cents per liter. So this then gives us a, a measure of cost for the fuel. So now, then we can plug that in and we can come up with a an equation for cost for the overall operation, which is going to be the 50-50 times the time that it takes, which is 450 over V. So that this cost is affected by, by the velocity, and so is this fuel price. And now I, I did some reduction here to simplify the denominator, 8 minus 0.1 V plus 11, so 19 minus 0.1 V. Now what is it that we want? We want speed to minimize operating expenses. So the, the word minimize here is a clue that we're looking to, minimize, to, to come up with a minimum. And what speed is a question. So what we want to do is we want to find minimum cost, but as a function of speed, dc dv. So what we're going to do in order to come up with a minimum, we calculate dc dv, we set it equal to zero, and then solve for v. So now I'm going to go through that. It's a little tedious, so we have dc dv is going to be the, the derivative of this whole expression here. 450, we can pull out in front, and then we have 5050, we have v to the minus 1, so it's going to be minus, don't forget that minus sign, minus 5050, v to the minus 2, or divided by v squared. And then we have, here again, this thing is in the denominator, so we have a minus 0.68 times this whole thing to the minus 2 power times the internal factor minus 0.1. And then we come out with, with this quantity and then we can cancel out the 450 when we set it equal to zero 
and we get minus 50.50 over v squared plus 0.068 divided by the quantity 19 minus 0.1 v, the quantity squared equals zero. I'm not gonna solve this for you right now. It's a numerical thing, so you just have to go through, crank it out, and then you know plug in the binomial formula in order to come up with the right answer. Um, the key to this problem, I think, more than anything, is just to kind of play around with it and just see what you're given and where you can possibly go with that. So I started with the dimensional analysis, just saying, let me just try to cancel out units and see where I can go using some of these different factors. If you have any questions or you want us to do solve your problem, send an email to solve at midnighttutor.com.